Hello, everybody. We're doing the free reading Friday. Don't forget, Saturday is Halloween and it is also a blue moon. So we had two full moons this month and there's also a conjunction. There's three planets involved. I know Uranus is involved. Go ahead. Make the joke. I know you need to. It's okay. Um, but it basically means anything can happen. Like the unexpected will happen is what those uh, different planets mean. So we're going to hop ahead with the free reading. If this is your first time here at Mama Delia's free reading, there is uh, a question that we always do. And the question this week is, what is your love situation going to be? Your romance, your not romance, your sex, your not sex, whatever. Your romance situation going to be on the Halloween weekend. Okay, so you pick pile one, two, or three. And I'm actually using, I typically use these cards. I'm actually adding a different set of cards in also. So you get uh You'll see how they work together. So concentrate on that question. What is your uh, romance situation going to be on Halloween weekend? So pick one, two, or three. And while you're thinking about that, I just want to let you know, yes, Halloween is Saturday. I still have Halloween nails available. I am wearing them right now. Let me see. Okay. Um, I was wearing these. These lasted for almost two weeks. So if you look back in some of the videos... I got two weeks out of those. And don't forget, two sets come in each um, packet. So you can actually, you know, um, shipping and tax is included. They're 15 bucks. You get two sets of manicures and you'll actually have some nails to spare. Even though Halloween is on Saturday, I mean, I have a whole entire section of my wardrobe of just Halloween leggings. No joke. No joke. Okay. So I'll be, you'll probably be seeing me in these afterward, especially these. I think these can be worn anytime, but I love the coffin shape. Did you check these out? Did you check these out? I thought, oh my God, this glitter ombre, it goes from like purplish black to brownish purple. So like, I don't even know what that color is to amber, to orange, to yellow, to like, and these are glow in the dark. Oh yeah, all these are glow in the dark. I forgot to tell you. So like these, if we were to turn the lights off, uh, the windows glow. I have a full moon on this one. Hold on. Whoop. So all that, that stuff glows. And these two, um, that part of it glows. Some of the silver glows. This glows. All the windows glow. So there you go. So check those out. I still have those available. And let's hop into the reading. Do you know what your number is? Do you need a second? One, two, or three. One, two, or three. Okay, ones. So let me move these over here. Let's see what your situation's going to be. Oh, okay. Your romance situation's actually turning in your favor. You're going to hear about your specific person from somebody else. You may hear gossip. Don't worry if it's good or bad. Okay. Don't, don't, if it's bad, do not freak out wherever you do. Okay. But things are actually turning in your favor. So if you had something going on, it's actually, this is a 10 card. So that means it's the beginning of a cycle. So if you had something going on with this person, and let's say things were maybe not too good or like you didn't know where it was going. It, this is saying it's going to actually start going in the correct direction. Don't worry about the past. Let it go. Just drop it. Don't go there. Okay. And you are going to hear news from another person. This is not a third party. Um, everybody has their own interpretation. Look at these nails. Look at that hollow shimmer. Still available. Still available. Anyway. Um, everybody has their own interpretation of tarot cards. I have been doing this for many millions of years because I'm a vampire. Um, this card to me means news coming in from a third party. Okay. So that's a girlfriend might mention something. Somebody might see something on Facebook and, and tell you about it, but it says information's coming in from a third party, but it's good. It's a good thing. And things are going to start turning in your favor. Okay. So think about that. That's actually a very good thing. All right. People number two, what's your love life going to be? Oh, the Empress, which is my nickname. The Empress. Oh, okay. This is, okay. This is, <laughs> if I had been picking cards, this would probably be me. Okay. Uh, treat, what is it? What is it? Leave, treat them mean, keep them keen. If you ever watched, um, Kath and Kim on Netflix, it's this Australian sitcom from 2005. Holy crap. You gotta watch it. It's so, it's like the worst. It's the best. It's the worst. Um, if you were alive in 2005 and, or, or you're, you're probably alive, but if you were 
young in 2005 or if you were a teenager coming up, the fashions will make you crack up laughing because they're those very um, Britney Spears VMA low cut, uh, super low cut boot, uh, boot cut pants. Uh, oh my God, it's just uh, butterfly clips, millions of little butterfly clips. You have to check it out. Anyway, so keep them, uh, treat them mean, keep them keen. That's what, that's what this, these cards are. The Empress, if you have had one of my readings, if you're one of my regulars, you know, I say, don't be a queen, be an empress. Okay. Literally this means for your love life, sit on your throne. I have told this to many people who've had readings with me and they'll call me and they'll talk about their love life. And I say, you know, Queen Elizabeth, way, 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 way back in the day, not, not the current one. Um, she used to mess around with a bunch of different guys. Okay. And she, uh, she was with Sir Walter Raleigh, right? But he was kind of a pirate. He was kind of a, uh, he was, he, you know, he, he was in charge of her fleet and stuff like that, but she would mess with him, but she was supposed to be a virgin. Right. But they were, they were kind of messing around behind the scenes. Well, he would go off and he would go be with other women, but she, you never saw Queen Elizabeth get off her throne and go knock on doors in the middle of the night to go see where her man is. Right. So that's what this means. This literally is sit on your throne be the empress. See, the empress has the lotus flower. She's calm. See, she has all the symbols of love around her. She has the moon, which is super femininity. Even her crown is shaped like the moon. There's so much symbolism here. I won't go into all of it, but this is literally chill out, chill out. So if somebody you like, or if somebody's not around you right now, Treat a main, keep them cane, as they would say on Kath and Kim, okay? And this is, this card also, this is, when it's this way, is a very emotional card. When it's upside down, it's have no emotion. Apathy. Just be calm, be cool, be collected. Super chill, okay? So that is going to be your love life for Halloween weekend. And even if you're around this person, play it super cold, okay? Ice them out. People number three. Oh, okay. Our people, number three people, you need to stock up on um, sex toys, lube, and condoms. That's what these cards mean. I could, if you want, I can be, you know, a more demure, and I cannot say gross things, and I cannot be blunt, but I think we all know me. Your holiday, your Halloween is going to be quite sinful, Okay. You probably need to buy some of these nails to put them on so you can scratch backs, okay? Um, these are all about love, all about sex, all about partnership. So if you're in a long-term relationship, yeah, it's going to be a little spicy. If you kind of like somebody, it's going to be a little spicy. You know, if you're having a first date, it's probably going to be, you're probably going to be having breakfast on Sunday, okay? So if you're, if you're completely all alone, hey, you know, do what you got to do. Meet somebody new, do do whatever you need to do. So this, your cards are highly sexual, highly about love, highly about romance, okay? So go have fun. You got my permission. Go do bad things. Um, what's that quote from the Mean Girls movie? It's the only day of the year that you can dress like a total slut as long as you put mouse ears on or or some kind of animal ears. It counts as a costume. So, you know, dress up in a, your sexiest costume. Go have fun. Uh, so that's that's people number three are going to be getting... Uh, extra candy in their basket. Let's put it that way. Okay, so that is our free reading for today. If you would like a longer reading, uh, check me out. I have text message readings and I also have phone readings. And I'll put the links down below. Uh, just go to the store and click on consultations. Um, I'm having people actually get a hold of me for other stuff. If you need me for anything, it could be learn how to feng shui. It could be learn how to read tarot cards. It could be um, just talk about some stuff that's going on with your narcissistic ex-husband. Whatever you need. D just get the consultation because you're just paying for the time basically. So we don't have to read tarot cards. We can talk about something else, but the time is the same. So go ahead and then don't forget to send me your name, the one, the, the listing that you ordered. So if you ordered a text listing, say I ordered the small listing or I ordered the big listing, or I ordered the 60 minute reading, whatever it is. So send me your name, the type of listing and some days and times that you will be available. And I will get right back to you. Um, so the other thing I just want to touch on real quick and I'm going to have these in view so you guys can stare at them in the meantime. 
The other thing I would like to um, hit on real quick is um, I uh, originally am from the uh, Philadelphia area and, you know, everything, it's been a crazy 2020. We all know that. So um, earlier this week, I wasn't super available or, you know, I, was, I wasn't putting out my normal content. Um, so I'm going to be playing uh, a lot of catch up. So if you see uh, ads for videos that are older videos coming out, it's just so I can catch up on, on some old things, uh, catch up on some previous videos that came out. So you might be seeing new content or you might be seeing old advertisements for old content. Uh, it's just to clear it off of my, you know, I have a little uh, checklist that I, that I go through. Um, earlier this week, I was very emotionally drained. Uh, cause that, that is my hometown area and, uh, some people I know, you know, dealing with things there and, um, you know, without getting into any politics whatsoever, whatsoever, I, I wrote this last night and it came from a, a, a very deep place and I really mean it. It's not about, you know, this person's life matters. This other person's life doesn't matter. Honestly, at this point, I think solutions matter. So all I can do, I'm going to tell you this right now, because I have a lot of people calling me and asking me um, political questions or, or, or questions that are very, I'm very sensitive to answer. Um, I think all that any of us can do right now is put out vibes, put out energy and put out prayers that there is a solution because nobody is right here and nobody is wrong here. Okay. We're all, we're all just struggling through. Okay. And if you can tonight, when you go to bed or whenever you see this, just put out the vibes that we come to solutions. Okay. So if, you know, I, I, I in my corporate career, I used to do a lot of negotiations and what I always aimed for was, you know what a Venn diagram is? Here, I'm going to grab a piece of paper. If you guys know what a Venn diagram is, it's this, okay? It's good. That's like a Pisces. It's, ah, okay? So this would be one person, and this would be the other. And right here is the overlap, right? So this is where both people have the same thinking and the same feeling, all right? When I did the corporate negotiations, all I would ever aim for is that that overlap was 80%. Okay. So it was more like this. So this, okay. So majority overlap that you get what you want when you come out of the negotiation. Okay. And that's what I've been praying for. That's what I've been having in my head all the time is that if both parties or, or both people or, or two sides or whatever it is, if you get 80% of what you want, okay, and, and, and the other person does too, and there is going to be small things over here, concessions is what they say in negotiations, that's what I'm praying for. I'm just praying for that we all get solitude, we all get um, security, we all get safety, but it doesn't have to come at the expense of anybody else because Every single one of us is a child of God and whatever God is to you, if that's a universe, if that's manna, if that's the force, if that is Jesus, if that is, um, Allah, whatever it is. Okay. And so if, if you can join me, if you got, you know, if you listen to this whole entire rant, if you can join me and just pray not for one side or the other to be right, but just pray for a solution so that this can be done and we can all move forward and do good things for each other. That's really what I pray for. So thank you for listening for my little rant. And go get a reading. Um, I uh, What day? Again, I'm a little bit screwed up this week because of dealing with things back home in Philadelphia. But um, I should have had something out about the pheromone perfumes. So that's getting updated. And also those of you on... My text message list will be getting a text message. Uh, happy Halloween. Okay. You'll be getting a happy Halloween with some updated links and things like that. Um, yeah. So come check it out. I hope you guys have a great and safe Halloween if I don't get to talk to you. And just pray and, 
you know, send good vibes out to everybody else. I love you all. Talk to you soon.